Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first of my Spoopathon reading vlogs. I will be honest with you guys, I don't know how frequent these vlogs are going to go up. I tend to only have time to edit of a weekend when I'm not at work. So doing weekly vlogs can be quite a tight turnaround. So there will be a vlog for each week of this month. Whether or not you see them each week is another question. Anyway, yes, it's the 1st of October. I am doing Spoopathon and I'm also doing Gothtober. So I'm going to be talking about those readathons during these vlogs. I have also kind of decided, but not decided yet, I don't know, if I want to do Royal Readathon this month as well. It's another month long one. There are teams and we've got this, the list of prompts. So I can't decide if I want to join in or not. I might just sign up for it and then see what the books I read, like if they fit any of the prompts for the readathon without like thinking too hard about it. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I am carrying on with my read of Fairy Tale by Stephen King. I started this towards the end of September because I didn't really want to start Empire of Storms which was the last book on my book copy TBR. Just because that is like a 700 page book, I didn't think I was gonna finish it before the end of the month and I didn't wanna carry it over into October either. So I'm kind of putting my read of Throne of Glass on the back burner for at the moment. I don't know what I'm gonna do November, December reading wise. I wanna carry on with doing my TBR game, but I also would like to try and just binge a few series to try and knock them off my list. So I don't know. But anyway, that's thinking too far ahead. October. So yeah, I'm like 260 pages into this. I put it down after my sprints with Amy McCaw on Thursday night and I haven't picked it up since. So I'm kind of going into it at a really good starting point, I guess, for October. It's kind of come to the end of one bit of the story and is moving on into the next sort of main arc. It's really interesting so far. It's very different, I think, to the rest of Stephen King's but It's a little bit more on the fantastical side, but the first 200 pages are still very much rooted in reality and it's kind of backstory to the main meat of the plot. It was still interesting. It was just very slow going, which I kind of expect for Stephen King books. He's very good at building the tension. So I am very intrigued to carry on with this. I need to finish it by the 5th because this is a loan from the library and that's when it's due back. I can't renew it because it's reserved by somebody else. I don't know if I'm going to finish it by the 5th. It's like 600 pages. So it's a lot to read in a short amount of time. I don't get fines if it is late because I'm a member of staff, but I still don't want it to be late because I feel bad for whoever's waiting for it. I'm sorry, I had to put you down because my arm is starting to ache. What was I saying, Stephen King? So yeah, I, I will need to try and finish this by the 5th because it needs to go back. I don't know what I'm going to read next. We've obviously got the prompts. I got the prompts a few days early because I am a patron of Spoopy Hall. Honestly, they didn't really help me decide what to read because all of the books that are on the main TBR I've got for October, they do fit into some of them, but not like most of them. So... I don't know, but you can redo prompts if you want to. I don't know what I'm going to pick up next because this is such a chunk that I might pick up a graphic novel to kind of break it up. But I also don't want to read my graphic novels so early in the month when they're probably best safe for later in the month when I start getting a bit of reading fatigue. I'm so glad that the month starts on a Saturday this month because I feel like I can get a lot done for this first weekend. But also at the same time, I'm not in the mood for reading I'm not in the mood for reading. I don't know why. I feel like I've got a slump coming on and I don't know what's caused it because I've enjoyed a lot of the books that I've been reading. I don't, I just, I don't know. I think I'm just in the mood for something else and that something else is probably playing The Sims. <laughs> so we'll see how I get on. So today I need to edit a video that will go up in a couple of weeks so I can at least get started on that. I don't have to finish it today but I would like to try and get it done so it's out of the way and then hopefully I will get some more reading done of fairy tale. I wanted to try and pick up the audio for this as well but I can't find it anywhere that I have a subscription to. It's not at the library, it's not on Scribd. I cancelled my Audible one because I wasn't using it and I think it is on Audible so that sucks. I can't get my free trial back sadly but I don't want to pay for a copy of it if I can help it because the reason why I borrowed this from the library is because I didn't want to buy a copy of it. So yeah the plan for today, try and edit that video and to also read some more of this. It would be nice if I could get a hundred pages in today and that would take me to page 360. 
and then I have about 200 pages left. So that actually isn't too bad if I break it down like that. I'm moving to a new library on Monday. My apprenticeship, I do like rotations of the different libraries in our service. So I'm starting a new rotation on Monday. The commute is going to be a bit weird because it's technically the closest library to where I live, but the public transport where I live is not very good unless I get the train and I don't need to get the train to this library. So I'm gonna be getting the bus in the morning, but it gets me there really early. So I might have more time to read while I'm like commuting basically for work, but also I could have less time depending on like if I get let in and everything, you know, it's, it's a bit complicated to explain without going into the specifics that you guys don't need to know. But on my way home, I can't get the bus back because the last bus to where I live is at half past four from the main bus station. So that's no good if you work a like nine to five type job. So I'll be getting the bus back into town and then I will be getting the train to where I live, which will take an hour, even though I only live maybe like 15 minutes away from the library where I'm gonna be working. So that's great. I'm really looking forward to that. I was also really, really sad to leave the library I've been working at for the last few months as well. I feel like I've really settled in there and it feels a lot like my library as well because I've done so much there and I feel like I've really put my heart and soul into it. Sadly, I'm not allowed to apply for permanent jobs in our library service at the moment because of my apprenticeship and they would prefer I finish the course before I apply for a permanent job which sucks because there was a lot of jobs going at the moment but you know it, it is what it is there's nothing that I can personally do about it I've expressed that I'm very interested in a permanent job all of the management are aware I really would like a permanent job there so it's not like they think I'm not interested in staying on at our libraries when I finish my course everybody's very much aware that I do want a permanent job and everyone has said they would love to keep me on if they could like immediately so we will see what happens i'm about a year into my apprenticeship i'll be a year in on the fourth which is very cool but i have six months left to go i have a few assignments to do i have a project to do and then i finish the course basically so we will see what happens in the coming months but that is also getting way ahead of myself it is october let's just think about october for now hello everybody it's Sunday? Yeah, I've got to say it's Tuesday, it's definitely not Tuesday, it's Sunday. I don't have much to update you on since yesterday. I joined sprints with Spoops and Amy yesterday afternoon and that was fun. My second time ever doing sprints. Oh my gosh, I'm actually really starting to get into doing it so you can definitely expect more from me after the readathon is over and everything. But it's just finding the time more than anything. Time is a constraint for me and I know we all have the same 24 hours in a day but I spend most of my time at work or commuting to and from work or asleep. I read a little bit more of Fairy Tale. I think I'm up to like page 330 now. There's not really much to say about it. It's still good. I think I did prefer it before our main character kind of went into the, the fairy tale world. It was the mystery element, I guess. It was just the fear of the unknown, I think, that made it really interesting to me. And now it's kind of just following like a standard quest like a standard fantasy style quest and it's you know like a story of like a man and his dog and it, i do like it i just feel like it's missing the sinisterness that i really enjoy in stephen king books i know he's written a lot of different books and a lot he has he like he's like covered a lot of different genres as well but i do kind of prefer his more suspense thriller scary style of writing so i don't know what's gonna happen in like the last 200 pages it's kind of building up to like defeating a big bad and then after that who knows like how it will conclude but i am enjoying it i just kind of wish it was something that it's not i guess i feel like because i i kind of expect horror from stephen king and this is not a horror book it's very sinister but it's not a horror book so i think i need to put the horror mindset on the back burner i'm also really craving reading a scary book now we watched hocus pocus 2 last night it is so good. It is so good. I've heard people say it's not as good as the first one, but I disagree. I think it was the right amount of cheesy. It was the right amount of like spooky Disney style horror. I really enjoyed it. It was so funny as well, which was fantastic. And a lot of like girl power, which probably pisses off a lot of people, but I don't give a shit. I really enjoyed it. It's proper got me into the Halloween mood. So I just really want to watch more spooky movies i really think i want to watch scream at some point this this season i would also really like to finally watch halloween can you believe i've never seen halloween any of them 
how? I feel like it's the one sort of classic horror film that I've never watched. I've seen A Nightmare on Elm Street. I've seen Scream. I've seen Friday the 13th, but I've never actually seen Halloween. So I think I need to rectify that. I would also really like to rewatch The Shining some point this year. It used to be my tradition where I watched The Shining every year on Halloween because it is my, my favourite film. It's my favourite scary movie. But I, I kind of fell off the bandwagon with that a few years ago and I'm not sure why. It might have been because I used to work in a nightclub when I was at uni and I used to always have to work on Halloween because, well that's 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 the thing the nightclubs are open on halloween usually because it's a special event and i always had to go to work and miss out on halloween fun which sucked but i, I would always like do scary makeup for work or at least within my power but it's, it's gonna be quite nice to have another year where i don't have to work on halloween i feel pretty crappy today i'm not gonna lie my period started so i just feel crap as a result of that i'm kind of just trying to power through it's currently 10 past two in the afternoon i feel like i've lost so much of my day already but i've finished editing a video that i was doing yesterday on sprints so this afternoon i think i don't know what if i want to play video games or if i want to read we might try and do a bit of both i need to get something to eat because i'm hungry again i had a bagel for my breakfast which i had at like half past 11 <laughs> But I need to go get something to eat and then make a decision of what I want to do this afternoon. I get into like this funk usually, and this happens every day, where I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. So I just end up scrolling on my phone and I waste so much time. And then I feel like crap because I haven't done anything that I enjoy doing because I've just spent the whole time looking at my phone. And I really need to stop doing that and just make a decision and do something. And then if I'm like, oh, I'm not in the mood for this, just do something else instead of just looking at my phone. It's a problem. Hello, it is Monday. Um, I don't really have a reading update for you on this. I've gotten to page 395. I read a little bit more today on my lunch break at work, but other than that, like I haven't read too much since I last updated you, which I think was yesterday afternoon. I read a little bit last night, but yeah, I feel like I'm getting towards the end of it now. A lot has ha happened actually, maybe I do have a reading update. A lot has happened, obviously it's something I can talk to you about without spoiling it, but it's definitely taken a turn I wasn't expecting and now I have no idea like how it could end. That is very interesting. I do find myself zoning out a little bit though while I'm reading it. I just don't find this sort of half of the book as interesting as the first half, even though the first half I feel like was a lot of build up compared to like the main story. I am enjoying it so 395 so I have about 200 pages left give or take. Intrigued, looking forward to see how it ends. I need to finish it by Wednesday if it's going to be returned on time. In fact I need to finish it tomorrow night really because of it being due back on Wednesday so I don't think I'm going to finish it before it's due back which I'm lucky I don't get fines in that case. I'm definitely not going to have to read 200 pages by tomorrow night. I'll read a little bit more tonight and then a little bit more tomorrow, but definitely not 200 pages worth. It's my seven o'clock finish tonight, so it's been a really long day. I started my first day at my new library today. Mondays are weird because I do a story time at one library and then I have to go to another library, which is my main branch at the moment. So from 10 till 3, I was at this one library where I would do my story time and spend the morning sort of just preparing stuff for the week, doing some study as well for my course. And then I went to what is my proper branch more this evening. I was there full till seven. So I haven't really had the chance to settle in properly. My first full day there will be on Wednesday because it's closed on Tuesday. So I work at a different library <laughs> on a Tuesday. The way our library service works is that staff kind of work at all branches. You, you kind of have a branch if you are a branch member of staff, but most of the time yeah, you're expected to go and cover different branches and stuff. And because I'm a full-time member of staff, I do full-time hours and because I'm an apprentice as well I'll do my rotations and then do work at other branches as well so yeah it's a bit complicated to explain without kind of going into too much depth but basically I work at three different libraries now but the main one is where I was at this afternoon and that's where I'm going to be on um, most of the week so yes <laughs> but yeah it was a pretty long day to be honest but my main reason for wanting to update you tonight is because I have some book mail so I'm going to open this for you I've ordered it specifically for Halloween like October reads because I want to read some more spooky graphic novels so 
first one I've got here is Delicates by Brenna Thumler and this is the sequel to Sheets which I read at the end of September so I kind of wanted to pick this up relatively soon especially because it is another sort of spooky read as well so I'm really looking forward to reading this at some point this month and then the other one is Fangs by Sarah Anderson so this is another graphic novel and it is a love story between a vampire and a werewolf I think India read this sometime last year and enjoyed it so I I mean I've been wanting to pick it up pretty much since then but uh I've only just allowed myself to buy it it's got quite it's nice cloth bound kind of texture this is a like comic graphic novel thing about a vampire and a werewolf in love but because this would fulfill the blood red prompt for this week I think I'm going to read this when I finish fairy tale to kind of break up my other reads and then try and squeeze in another book before the end of the week as well which i feel like is going to come up really really quickly so yeah but that is the other one i have just bought so my plan for the rest of the night is to literally just sleep <laughs> i'm gonna have a shower now and then i think i'm gonna have my dinner and i'm gonna go and watch the new episode of house of the dragon because i have been really enjoying that show it's really delightfully surprised me I know it's different showrunners, so it wasn't going to have the same treatment that Game of Thrones got, but hey, here's Hercules. So um, I knew it was going to have the same treatment, but I'm glad that it's like actually quite good. So yeah, we're going to go watch that, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. He's like jelly. He's like jelly. Okay, I'm going to talk to you guys later. disaster of a week to be honest so I, I meant to do an update on tuesday but i just totally forgot and then when was the last time i updated you it must be monday or was it before then i have no idea basically tuesday night i got really sick and uh i've only just started feeling better uh today and it's saturday again so i haven't read anything since tuesday i did decide to read fangs by sarah anderson one of the nights i think it was monday now i gave it four stars i can't remember what prompts i used it for i meant to check before i started recording and i can't remember yeah it's like a fun little graphic novel about a vampire and a werewolf who date my only complaint was that i wish it had been a bit longer it's like it is just like a series of different comics and it is cute and it is funny i kind of wish that there had been a bit more of a cohesive story sort of woven throughout and that had been a little bit more substantial but it was enjoyable and it was very cute i just i've been really ill i still don't really feel that great i had to cancel my sprints on thursday because i was really unwell and i was off work as well i went back in today just to kind of ease myself back into it more than anything so that I can start fresh on Monday so my first week at my new library obviously went to pot as well but I'm just kind of gonna sack off this week and start again
fresh, especially with the vlog as well. I'm still reading Fairy Tale. I was meant to take it back on Wednesday, obviously that didn't happen. And I'm still reading it. I'm on page 440. I've not touched it since before I got sick and I can't really remember what's going on. Honestly, I'm, I am enjoying it, but I'm just honestly fed up of it now. I just want to finish it. I just want it to be out of the way so I can move on to something else. I'm just going to end the vlog here. I know this has been a crappy vlog, but I don't have anything to say to you. I have just been literally lying in bed the last few days. I could not get out of bed. I felt awful. I just, yeah, it was like the worst stomach bug I've ever had. I don't get stomach bugs very often. I don't remember the last time I had one. It was a very long time ago. And I just, it really hit me. I didn't eat anything for three days apart from a couple of rich tea. I ate my first meal today, this evening. I still didn't really eat anything until I got home from work this evening. So that's that's the week. Well done on week one of Spoopathon, me. Pat on the back. This did get up quite a few points. I'll put it on the screen how many points it got because I can't remember. Uh, I've written it down on a note in my phone, but obviously I film on my phone, so I can't check that while I'm, I'm talking to you guys. So we will just start fresh. I know it's Saturday and I wanted to start the vlogs on Saturday and end them on a Friday, but I was ill. So we're just going to start the next vlog on a Sunday. I literally have nothing to tell you today because I haven't read anything and yeah that's it that's week one go me congratulations it's just been a bit of a disaster so thank you for watching i'm really sorry it was really disappointing to watch hopefully next week will be better i will get more reading done i will feel a lot better i have more going on in my life as well over the next few weeks especially in the lead up to halloween as well um so yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up tell me how your first week of spoopathon went i really really hope that it went better than mine did if you haven't already and you would like to be please do consider subscribing and i'll see you very soon with a new video guys bye